you with a heavy heart, but also with a great sense of honor and purpose. We gather here today to discuss and address a critical issue that has sadly plagued our society for far too long, the link. The link, which is the connection between animal cruelty and interpersonal violence, has been scientifically backed and demonstrated by numerous tragic events. Thus, in this conference, we must recognize that in 77% of animal abuse cases, such cruelty is merely one part of a much larger, more sinister pattern of violence. As we come together today, the recent tragedy in Uvalde remains on the forefront of all of our minds as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of unchecked violence. The Uvalde crisis is a harrowing example of the horrific consequences that can arise when the warning signs of animal cruelty go unnoticed or unreported. The Uvalde shooter, who tragically took the lives of 21 innocent individuals, left a chilling trail of animal cruelty in his wake, documented for the world to see on social media. Months before the mass shooting, he publicly posted videos of his torture of kittens and cats all across social media and boasted that he and his friends tortured animals all the time. Nobody reported it. In fact, acts of animal cruelty are seldom reported and generally only become known after mass shootings or other violent crimes. In many cases, people aren't even aware of animal cruelty laws or where or how to report these heinous crimes especially kids my age. In fact, I had only just learned of the horrific facts behind this tragic event when I became a junior advocate myself. So I know firsthand how shielded these facts are from the mainstream world and especially children. This grim reality is not merely an isolated incident. Acts of animal cruelty often remain hidden in the shadows, only coming to light after larger, more heinous crimes have been committed. We cannot afford to let this pattern continue. In 2017, the Texas Humane Legislation Network helped lead a significant effort towards strengthening Texas's animal cruelty laws. But for these laws to be effective, animal cruelty witnesses online must be reported and addressed as fast as possible. The statistics are staggering but they also serve as a call to action. Children exposed to domestic violence are three times more likely to be cruel to animals. An alarming 43% of school shooters have a history of abusing animals. In investigations of child abuse cases, 60% of families reported instances of animal cruelty, and a staggering 88% of those investigated for physical child abuse also reported such cruelty. Animal abuse is a characteristic found in the developmental histories of about 30% of adult violent offenders. So, let us honor the victims of Uvalde and all of those who have suffered due to this connection. And let us lead this conference with a greater understanding and resolve to truly make a difference to protect the vulnerable and to ensure a brighter, safer future for all.